Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, here it is. The AMT 64 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Got her all finished up. I think it turned out pretty good, huh? I'm happy with it. Painted it the uh, pearl magenta with a little wind-filled fade down the center of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, the pollen's getting to me. Set of uh, old-style craggers and uh, made some bellflower tips. Of course, the uh, front and rear uh, roll pans, I guess you want to call them, they, they come with the kit. Um, just glued those into place and did a little mold work uh, to get rid of the seams. No big deal. The front uh, grill there, if you can see, this kind of got a uh, plastic cover over it. If you're not familiar with the kit, well, that actually comes in the kit as well. It's made for the stock grill, but I just did a little sanding on the corners and uh, got it to fit that grill opening, which is the custom opening to give it a front and rear roll pan look. There's the uh, French antennas, the bellflower tips, a little paint work. The only issue I had with this car was the firewall. Um, it, it It's a little, the body's more or less spread open, so it doesn't really fit snug in there. So my advice, if you haven't built this car and you plan on it, when you go to put your firewall in place, um, kind of pull the body in around it once you get it set where it's supposed to go. It's got a couple of guide line areas in there for it but once you get it in place kind of hold it together by pinching the body together and then uh, letting the glue set and then let it relax and do what it's got to do i don't recommend gluing the sides because if you do it'll pull the body in so tight you won't be able to get the chassis under it uh if i remember correctly <clears throat> excuse me again but uh oh yeah i'll show you the interior once she gets back around here and i'll take this engine cover off but yeah this is a this is the kit. Let me back up a little bit. That's the kit. And uh, you can see the front end is a custom front end. Of course, it comes with side pipes, a few little odds and ends. Not a bad kit. I mean, kind of fun. Um, wanted to build it into like a uh, lowrider style um, cruiser, you know. Uh, the interior does come with a decal for the uh, dash. Uh, there's the engine and like I said the the firewall it fits in there, but it just doesn't fit like it should So it's a little aggravating to put together, but no big deal Okay, just a white interior and there's the uh, steering wheel. I'm not sure what the steering wheel came from But it was in my uh, parts box. So Thought it would look good in there But yeah, like I said, I, I'm happy with it. It turned out pretty cool um let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave me a comment. Hit the like button if you do like it. Get that hood back on there so you can see it up. Uh, but yeah, just another pink custom for the road. <clears throat> Color's a little bright out there, but hey man, it's different, right? Anyways, you guys have a great day. Be safe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later.